welcome to North Penn News. I'm Melissa Cubitt. And I'm Aubrey Kenderdine. In our first story, North Penn's annual homecoming football game will be held on Friday, October 18th at 7.30 p.m. Come out and see the crowning of the 2013-2014 homecoming king and queen as the Knights take on Penn Ridge High School. Also, did you know that North Penn now has an alumni association? The North Penn Alumni Association will be hosting a homecoming picnic at North Penn High School from 5 to 7 p.m. on October 18th. All alumni are invited to attend. A ticket to the picnic includes food from Moe's Southwest Grill, soft drinks, a North Penn Alumni Association t-shirt, and a ticket to the game. Picnic ticket prices are $25 for adults and $12.50 for children ages 15 and under. Please purchase tickets at northpennalumni.org. For any questions or concerns, contact Madeline Bergman with the information on your screen. On Monday, October 7th, the North Penn girls volleyball team hosted their annual breast cancer awareness game against Methacton. Announced by Preston from Preston and Steve, the maidens dug pink and raised awareness through selling raffle tickets and concession items. Despite a great effort from the maidens, the match ended in a win for Methacton. But the girls are back in action on Monday, October 14th at 3.45 p.m. at North Penn, so come out and support the team. Congratulations to the Marching Knights for a great performance this past weekend. The Marching Knights took their 2013 production, Unity, on the road, performing at King Philip High School in Rhythm, Massachusetts. The band gave their strongest performance on the season, placing second behind defending national champion Dartmouth High School. The Marching Knights were a mere quarter of a point behind their Massachusetts rivals. The Marching Knights won two of the three caption awards, receiving outstanding visual performance and outstanding overall effect. Come out and support the Marching Knights on Saturday, October 12th, as they perform closer to home at Moreland High School. Congratulations to the 21 North Penn High School students who were recognized as commended scholars in the 2013-2014 National Merit Scholarship Competition. These students are placed among the top 5% of all students who took the 2012 PSAT. There are 34,000 commended scholars recognized nationwide. These National Merit Scholarship Award recipients will be honored at a breakfast on October 29th in the North Penn High School Senior Cafeteria. Congratulations once again to all of these students on their exceptional academic achievements. Congratulations to the Bridal Path Montgomery Select String Ensemble, which has received a special judge's citation from the American Prize Competition in the Performing Arts category. This award recognizes exceptional accomplishment in string education and performance. Over the summer, the ensemble was sele selected as the winner out of all participating ensembles. Additionally, the Bridal Path Montgomery Select String Ensemble was awarded state-level recognition from the Foundation for Music Education for the second year in a row. This ensemble is comprised of select students in third through sixth grade from Bridal Path and Montgomery Elementary Schools. Congratulations to this ensemble for their incredible achievements. Wondering where you can find the best news in North Penn? North Penn News reporter Rebecca Rosenblatt has more. The Night Crier is an online newspaper comprised entirely of student writers and photographers. Covering stories from a North Penn football game to the crisis in Syria, these journalists publish a wide array of material every day. We're located in such a huge school. There's so many things that we can write about. There's so many interesting people that we get to talk to. We have unlimited resources here, so I think it makes it easy on us as journalists. While the staff meets as a class in K-26, anyone interested in writing or taking photographs is welcome to submit their work. You can check out the crier at nightcrier.org. It's a really good way to get involved with our sports teams and not only sports, but other events that we hold at North Penn. Reporting for North Penn News, I'm Rebecca Rosenblatt. On Saturday, October 5th, the boys' cross-country team traveled to Delaware to complete in the Silesianum Invitational. Highlights of the Invitational include top five finishes in all four races and a second place finish in the championship race. Congratulations to the Knights on their successful weekend and good luck in the rest of their season. Did you know that you can watch Broadway shows right in the North Penn High School Auditorium? 
The North Penn Community Education Program is featuring a new cinema series this semester. The next show is Memphis, a new musical about the birth of rock and roll in the turbulent 1950s. Here's a preview. We're going Direct from Broadway, it's a history-making event. Don't miss your chance to experience Broadway like never before. Memphis. Memphis can be seen in stunning high definition with incredible sound on Friday, October 11th. Tickets are only $3 for students and $5 for adults. For more information, visit northpenncinema.org. The North Penn School District invites parents and guardians of children grades kindergarten through third grade to attend a parent night with the math department. This year, the district adopted new math curriculum titled Go Math and will introduce new online resources for elementary students. Each grade level will have their own event. All meetings will be held in the gymnasium at A.M. Culp Elementary School. Please RSVP to these events at npen.org. For more information, contact Supervisor Stephanie Schwab with the information on your screen. Seniors, where will you be in 2064? Right here visiting your old stomping grounds if you are anything like the North Penn High School class of 1963. In September, the class of 63 celebrated their 50th reunion by attending a Friday night football game, a banquet, and a tour of North Penn High School. Members of Pendale's National Junior Honor Society provided tours of the old North Penn High School and related to the group of about 30-some of the changes in education since 1963. For the group, many things have changed, but their North Penn pride was still intact. During the tour, class of 63 members shared some of their academic and extracurricular achievements, some of which may have or have not included a senior prank involving an enormous boulder in the bus circle. Your secret is safe with us. Congratulations to the class of 1963. We are also very proud of your North Penn pride. North Penn Community Aquatics is now offering swim lessons during the school year. The first session began on Monday, September 23rd, and the second begins on Thursday, October 17th. Each session includes eight classes starting at 5 p.m. at the North Penn High School pool. For more information about lessons and other aquatic programs, visit npenorg backslash aquatics. Once again, the North Penn School District and Superintendent Dr. Curtis Dietrich are offering families the opportunity to talk one-on-one -on -one about important issues involving North Penn District schools. Monthly community conversations will be held at various locations within the district from now until April. The next meeting will be held at Upper Gwynedd Township Municipal Building on Thursday, October 17th from 12.30 to 1.30 p.m. Space is limited, so please call the number on your screen to reserve a seat. That is all for this edition of North Penn News. I'm Aubrey Kenderdine. And I'm Melissa Cubitt. Just a reminder to check all our programming on youtube.com backslash NPTV. We leave you with the North Penn Marching Knights from this year's Night of Sound. Oh.